Hey, what's up, guys? Christopher Harold here, and uh, welcome to the next day of my daily vlog here. And this is going to be short and sweet and to the point, but it's going to be something that not only you can use in your business, but something that you can use in your personal life. Because I'm speaking from personal experience. Now, guys, a lot of people don't realize this in life, but not everything goes according to your plans. And for some people, that could just throw everything awry from them. I mean, it throws everything out of order. It just put a total uh, monkey wrench in their plans so they can't even function anymore. But I'm going to share something with you right now that's very simple. And, and if you guys are Christians, or even if, even if you're not, I'm going to share something with you that's going to give you a breakthrough because whatever affects your business affects your personal life, and whatever affects your personal life affects your business. And if you can learn to do this one thing, that may not be so natural to you, but if you learn to do this one thing, regardless of what circumstances, what obstacles, what mountains, what unexpected things come into your life, I promise you, I promise you things will change for you. And what is that one simple thing? Simply is giving thanks. I mean, I get I get hit with things all the time, unexpected, unexpectedly. Things are going smooth for me in my business. Then just a couple of days ago, I got hit with something. It hit me like hit me like a ton of bricks. Well, I had to even step back a minute. I had to, had to talk to God. I had to pray. I had to see, okay, Lord, what are you trying to teach me? Am I missing something here? You know, some things that can happen in your past two years ago. I'm speaking from personal experience. And something can just hit you all of a sudden and, and, and be brought, brought right back up. You're like, man, I took care of that. I thought everything was done. But that's how life is, guys. When, when you're moving up, there's always going to be obstacles that come your way. And it takes a strong-minded person, a person who who doesn't quit when adversity hits to keep moving. The average person is going to quit because they don't want to do whatever it takes to continue to succeed. And when, and when a life hits you with a curveball, when life hits you with an uppercut or a right hook, how are you going to respond to that? How are you going to respond to that? And the key, guys, is giving thanks. If, if you believe in God, you need to give thanks and, and, and thank God for what he already brought you through in the past. You know, the Bible talks about so many times about being thankful, giving thanks, doing things with thankfulness. The reason why is because none of us know what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't care how good you might be at planning. I don't care how you wrote out your next day events. You have no idea what's going to occur tomorrow. You can write everything out tonight and what you want to do tomorrow. And something hit you tomorrow and everything that you wanted to do is thrown out the window. But how are you going to respond to it? Are you going to respond to it with crying and complaining and with bitterness? Because I've been through all that. I've been mad at God. But at the end of the day, I said, you know what? I got to give thanks. Because the Bible says in Romans 8, 28, that all things work together for good for those who love God and those who are called according to his purpose. So if you're a Christian and life hits you with an uppercut or right hook, things unexpectedly, as we get through the frustration, as, as we get through the bitterness, as we get through the confusion, we got to say, okay, Lord. If you allow this to happen in my life, even though it's affected me in a way that's making me very uncomfortable, it's affected me in a way it can hurt me temporarily financially, or it's a very it's a real big inconvenience. What are you trying to teach me? Because evidently, if you allow it into my life, there's some good in it. And so, guys, what you have to get into too is get into a habit of being thankful. And and, and what I try to do is every morning now I try to wake up and I try to write down three things that I'm grateful for. Regardless of what's going on in my life, when things are great, it's easy to write down what we're grateful for. But get into the habit of doing this every single day. And when you're having those rough times, those rough stretches in your life, because they're going to come, you still need to find some that you're thankful for. If you got to look back on what God did in the past, write it down. You can find three things every single day that you're thankful for. So, so give yourself a gratitude log. Give yourself something that you write down every single day, at least three things that you're grateful for, and then go throughout your day and face those obstacles then. I guarantee you, you will see things differently. I guarantee you, your day will go through a whole lot differently than what it would have if you had been focused on those circumstances, if you were not being grateful, if you were not seeing the things that God has already done and provided for you, as simple as having clothes on your back, having electricity to record videos that you're watching this video, just to watch videos that you're watching this video on right now. Just, just the simple things in life, guys. And when we can thank God for the simple things, when we can be grateful for the simple things in our life, all the bigger things that we want, those will happen. 
But we got to be, we got to learn to become grateful for what we already have. So I hope you got some out of this today. Hope it's something that can change your life. Because if it can change your life, it can change your business. And so post your comments below, guys. Uh, subscribe to my videos here on my channel. And just uh, like my videos and just let me know how this video helped you in what type of form or fashion. And as always, you guys, you know, you can work with me. You can go to work, work with chrisherrell.com. You want to work with me. And I look forward to working with you. I look forward to helping you change your life and change the lives of others. I got to roll, but God bless.